Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I carry inside of my travel backpack. The backpack I use the most is this Nordace Comino backpack, I think it's called, and I also love the Nordace Sienna, but I found that this bag looks much more like a travel bag, but also just has like different components that the Sienna doesn't that are just adequate for travel, including like all of these small little pouches in here in the front and just like a retractable water bottle pouch and a bunch of other things so i just wanted to show you guys my setup if you guys like this video or content for me in general please don't forget to like and subscribe and with that let's get right into it if you guys are interested in any of these products i'm going to be linking them all down below this bag was actually gifted to me by nordays and if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you'll know that i actually bought their nordays sienna backpack i think about two years ago and i made a packing video with it that went viral and because of that they reached out and sort of gave me an affiliate deal so if you guys do end up purchasing the backpack using my link I'll get a little commission which will absolutely make my day and go towards my travel fund. It doesn't make the backpack more expensive for you. I also wanted to make the disclaimer that I'm not traveling right now except for doing a little bit of like nature exploration and some sort of city walks nearby because obviously everything going on in the world makes it not so safe. If you're anything like me, you've also been missing traveling a lot. So this is how I would usually pack a travel bag for a weekend. But there's two really handy pouches in the front of this bag which is one of the reasons why I prefer it to the Sienna for traveling and one of the things that I like doing is allocating one of these pouches to tech stuff so I carry a power bank and I carry my SSD card because usually some of these trips I go on I still have to work and do some editing so this is the SSD drive that I love and I also bring a phone charger obviously my camera charger and my computer charger would also usually be in this pouch but they're not packed right now the camera that I'm filming on right now would also be in this bag, but obviously I couldn't film it in here because I'm using it to film it. I also bring these Jaybird uh, wireless headphones with me. They're super handy and they last a long time. So they're also perfect for doing like hikes and sports and stuff because they're still wired together so they wouldn't fall out of my ears as easily. And on this second pouch, I like to keep just these little friendship bracelet strings. If I'm ever in a train for a long time or a car ride or something like that, I like having something to do that doesn't require me staring at a screen because my eyes hurt a little bit after a while and I get nauseous. So I like learning new patterns and just making these friendship bracelets. It keeps my fingers busy and it makes time pass a lot faster it's also nice for airplanes then i have this side pouch here and it's super handy because it fits a whole size water bottle and mine is from a brand called wild rose i'll link them down below i love them because the water stays cold or warm for literally 12 hours it's insane so i bring this bottle everywhere i go this bag also has a super handy like side zipper so if you ever want to access something like in the bottom of your bag you can actually do it with through the side and then it has this like secret pouch in the back for passports and this little section here that you can use to put this bag on a carry-on um, in case you ever need to be hands-free and the drawstrings of the bag are actually reflective so it makes it super safe if you're walking around at night that cars and stuff can see you and then in this main pouch, as you can see, it's a pretty big main pouch. The bag looks a lot smaller than it actually is, and I was surprised at the capacity of this thing. Um, I'm going to take my toiletries out so you can see. But yeah, it has a lot of space in here, so just wanted to show you guys how I organize that in there. So the first thing that I have in there is my toiletry bag and I usually take my bamboo toothbrush. You guys know that I love trying to and um, be a little bit more sustainable when I can. And so I love the brand Bamboovement and I have literally all of their products. It was started by a friend of mine, so I'll leave, leave them linked down below if you guys are interested. I use their toothpaste tabs um, just because I think that they're easier to carry than toothpaste tubes. And if you're taking an airplane anywhere, they don't count as a liquid. Then this is my little face wash. I got this small bottle of it gifted to me, so I refill it. Um, whenever I go somewhere so that I don't have to take the gigantic container, the original one. And this is my moisturizer. I love it because it's mattifying. I also carry this uh, Professional Cream by Benefit. 
Um, I don't like putting on makeup, but sometimes my face will get really oily. So this just keeps my skin looking super nice and it's very easy to carry. So I like bringing that. I also always have lip balm with me and I just carry tea tree oil in case I just get some pimples so that I can put it directly on my pimple. And then you guys know I love shampoo and conditioner bars. I'm showing you these boxed ones because my actual ones look disgusting. So I'm just showing you these ones that I haven't opened. But this is the conditioner bar and the shampoo bar. And I would usually carry them in these round little tins. But like I said, mine looks so gross. So I'm showing you these ones to spare you guys. And there's the deodorant I love. All of this stuff is from the Bam Movement. And it doesn't count as like a liquid again, so it's super, super handy. And then I have a miniature of my perfume that I actually got when I bought my perfume, which is so handy because then I don't have to bring the whole thing. Then next we have my laptop. I keep it in this like laptop compartment of the bag and it's actually, it has a little cushion. So it keeps your laptop nice and safe. And then it has a strap that goes over it so it doesn't move around. So I like putting my laptop there. And on the second pouch, I either keep my iPad or my Kindle. If I'm flying for a long time, I might bring my iPad to watch Netflix, but if not, I'll just bring my Kindle with me. I'm about to do a video about how I sort of switched traditional books for Kindle and um, letting you guys know the pros and cons. So stay tuned because that's coming soon. But for now, I'm loving taking like an e-reader. Mine is a Kobo one. I'll link it down below for you guys. I really recommend it. Next up, we have my wallet. I did a wallet, what's in my wallet video. So I'll link that in case you guys want to see it. And I also have just like a bag of spare K995 masks, I think they're called. They're really, really good masks in case, you know, I need to replace mine. And then I have a packing cube. These are also from Nordace. I will show you guys how I organize this one. But I made an entire video about how I use my packing cubes. This is just a little brush that I bring with me. It's super small and handy. This is my emergency pouch. I have some extra pads and just some ibuprofen, paracetamols, um, all that nice stuff in case we need it on the go. And then yeah, this is the packing cube. I will link down below a full video of how I use it and how it compact it makes all of your clothes. But for now, like for a weekend trip, I would probably pack really light. So these are just some like leggings and tops for you guys to see. And just to quickly show you guys, so basically when you're packing it up, you would unzip it and it's super thick as you can see and you would fill up with the packing cube with clothes. You can either just drop them in or sort of roll them up depending on what you prefer. And then you zip it up and it becomes a super condensed packing cube which is so handy. And then I just slide that right into my bag and it actually fits two of these. So if you go buy stuff from Nordace and you buy the Comino bag with the packing cubes, then you know that you can actually fit two of these in the big compartment of the bag. So that's really handy. Yeah, as you can see, everything fits really nicely. Has a bunch of little compartments inside, which I love. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.